especially when it comes to my faith, when it comes to where I'm trying to go spiritually, the truth is a lot of people are not ready to go there or are not trying to go there. She always got something to say. Oh, no, she didn't. Oh, yes, she did. No, she didn't. <laughs> yes, she did. <laughs> we gonna cry a little. I can laugh a lot. I like to hear real shit. She keep it in the right spot. Come on, Let's y'all. Let's talk about Let's it. Let's talk about it. What's going on, you guys? I'm your girl, Jamaica. Of course, if you are new here and you don't know what to do here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. And just like that, you're no longer new and you know exactly what to do. <laughs> if you have been here and you are still here, he's loyal. I love you. I appreciate you. What the fuck is up? I feel like I'm living two separate lives. <laughs> I'm working really, really hard on the front end in so many ways. And I still come back and I cut into these videos and it's me, it's you, it's us. So working real hard, but I really appreciate you guys for sticking around and tuning in. I feel like I got to touch on this because if not me, then who? If you are trying to make a change in your life in any good way, if you are trying to be closer to God, if you are really trying to hone in on your purpose, and I mean, just elevate in so many ways, you just are trying to go above and beyond. But you're continuing to hang around individuals who are not on the same journey as you. Just flat out, straightforward answer, you're gonna have a hard time getting there. You're gonna have a hard time elevating in Christ. You're gonna have a hard time elevating in yourself, in your purpose, in your dreams, in your goals. If you are constantly hanging around individuals that one, remind you of your past, that two, are not going in the same direction as you, even if it's not doing the same thing, they just don't seem to be going in the same direction, the same way. Or that don't even feel like you should be there. They don't even think you deserve to go in the direction of your purpose and of your greatness in whatever aspect of your life that is. It's okay to cut off people that is not going your way. It's okay to leave people behind. You don't even have to be mean about it. I think people think that if I let them go, they're going to think I'm mean to them. I can come to you in the nicest way and say, listen, I know we've been friends for X amount of years, but just based off of who we are now not who we were but who we are now i just don't think we're going in the same direction it's like a relationship that famous line it's not you it's me yeah it's okay to say that to a friend it is okay to say that to a friend because that may be the case i don't really have like a huge circle like i've never been one of them people that have millions and millions of friends i am okay with telling people family friends or foe whomever i don't really want to be around that like, whatever that negative energy is, whatever that we are still young mindset mentality that people still hang on to, if I feel like it's anything outside of the direction of my growth, I'm letting it go. Especially when it comes to my faith. When it comes to where I'm trying to go spiritually, the truth is a lot of people are not ready to go there or are not trying to go there. And I definitely cannot hang on to you because God is the goal. God is the person that's going to see me through. God is the person that's going to get to me when I need to come to him. He's going to hear me out. He's going to walk me through a journey. He's going to be there for me. He's going to give me grace. Also, all those things. I cannot hold on to you and lose God. I can't do it. I can't do it. So you got to have that tough conversation. So with me knowing that, I'm okay with having that tough conversation. Everybody is not meant to go. And I know people say this all the time, so y'all hear it all the time. But it's so much the truth. Everybody is not meant to go in your direction. I know how hard it is to let go of something you're comfortable with or whom you're comfortable with. It's so hard to let go of them. But you outgrow people and people outgrow you. And we outgrow scenarios and, and all type of individuals. It's people who have been married for years. Years. Years upon years. And they divorce. And they break up. Because they are not the same. And maybe they have just figured out where their growth is right there at that point in their life and that's okay but don't stunt your relationship with Christ your growth your dreams your goals because you don't know how to or you don't feel comfortable with letting go individuals who are not aligned with you spiritually in any aspect of your life you gotta let them go <laughs> people who gossip let me tell you I really try to close my ears to people who gossip. I really try to refrain from even entertaining individuals who gossip. I even will like stop myself if I even feel like I'm gossiping. If I'm hanging around people who are gossiping, and let's just say I'm right there in that circle, I'll cut it out. I don't hear it. 
in text messages. Um, I try not to respond, and I'm doing very good at it. Sometimes I do, like, laugh or something. I may do something like that, but God says that you cannot be, you cannot teeter-totter. You have to be on the side of him, and that's it. And so, it's okay to catch yourself. But it's also okay to notice when something is against what you got going on and how to remove yourself from it. I try to not entertain people who gossip. I try not to even be involved in it. I less, I talk less to people who, who gossip. Like, I'll hang out with them less. I'll talk to them less. My sister, she's really bad at this. She, I don't have Facebook. I haven't had Facebook in years. I mean, like, years like double digit years, I have not had Facebook. And I don't have it for multiple reasons. One of the major reasons is so negative, it's so much mess, it's just so much nonsense on Facebook. Like how do you want to log into this and see this every day? So I deleted my Facebook. But my sister will talk about Facebook, she will post, she will like screenshot something and put it in a group chat and I'm like, oh my god, I got a way from my space i mean i y'all see how old i am i'm showing my age <laughs> i got away from facebook for this reason do not carry it into our group chat but she does and so some, i have to refrain from even talking to her or even responding to what she put in there because i'm not about to gossip i'm really trying to zone in on my relationship with christ and my faith and but if you don't want to be here i'm not going to force you but i will walk away from you and again relationship friendship whomever you have to be conscious of your circle if you're trying to elevate in all areas of your life in any area you have to be comfortable with knowing i'm gonna be uncomfortable i'm gonna be sad i'm gonna be mad i might miss these individuals but i gotta let them go because they're not good for me and where i'm trying to go and then you gotta trust that god's gonna replace them i hate to say it like that but god's gonna replace them with people that who are better. Not even replace them to you. God is a God of many things. He will work on them and then send them back to you. If he knows that they have potential, the potential just may not line up with where your potential is right now. Let me work on them and then I'll circle you two back. And then that person will understand where you are coming from because they now understand the journey that they are on. You can't be afraid that you're just going to be lonely. And I'm not saying be lonely. I'm not saying, oh my God, cut everybody off. I'm saying if you are not strong enough in your faith, if you are not strong enough to close your ears to certain things and know how to remove yourself um, and, and lower your expectations if necessary to maintain relationships or you're not losing them, you're just not interacting with them as much. If you don't know how to do that, yes, remove yourself. It's going to seem lonely. But if you do know how to do that, hang with them people. I, I got friends. I don't hang with them much because they my secular friends. Yeah, them my secular friends. They cool and everything, but I don't hang with them much. <laughs> my spiritual friends, who I love them, I engage with them, and I hang with them. But, you know, I don't hang with them too much. So, I have both sets of friends. I hang out sometimes with one mother or the other because they may understand me and my history. And so, they, I can go to them with a problem. They're going to know, like, okay, Jamaica, you acting like this. Whereas somebody that I just met may not know all the information pertaining to me. But my secular friends do. <laughs> and then I got some secular friends who is transitioning. And they're trying to be better. And so, I'm helping them. And we're doing it together. But if you're trying to grow and you see that who you're hanging around as a whole is just preventing you from... You gotta say, listen, I love you, but I gotta grow and I gotta go. If I circle back and you're still here and you're trying to go with me, we can go. But I want to be in better things. And that's not to sound rude, but you are. That's the facts. If I'm trying to grow and you are not, I should be able to say that to you. And you should be able to look at yourself and say, you know what? Am I really trying to go? Is she right? I'm not saying be like me. I'm not trying to be like you. I'm not saying we're trying to keep up with the Joneses. What I'm saying is you should be able to know within yourself that you should want growth. And what do you got to do to achieve that growth? And realize what that takes. And then start implementing those things. If you're not trying to do that, if you're just staying stagnant and who you are because I'm comfortable like this and I've been acting like this my whole life. Oh, yeah. Good. <laughs> Your circle is really important. Who you're intertwined with is really important. You can meet new people along the way. Some people are going to fall off. That's life though. And if it's meant to be, they'll come back. God will send them back to you. Trust me. And if they're not meant and you see them, maybe you're just meant to ask them, hey, you want to go? Your circle of friends, weigh, weigh who, you, who you bask with, with who you're trying to be, who you're trying to become, where you're trying to go. And see, like, huh, are they weighing me down? 
And if they are, figure out how to let them go. Or don't. And you make all of the sacrifices to try to hold on to them. Is it worth it? Is it worth the sacrifice? Sacrificing your relationship with Christ. Sacrificing all the progress you've made. Sacrificing your potential. Sacrificing what's for you, what's to come. I don't know. So I just want to come on here and say that because if you're struggling with friends and relationships and where you want to be, just know it's okay to cut the cord. It don't have to be for a long time. <laughs> Just tie off the end, you know. I don't know. I'll come back to it, but it's okay to do that. We we all have to do it. It happens. It's life. So I just come on here and say that I love you guys. Thank you for rocking with me. I feel like my words are so slurred. I talk with a lisp. Thank you all for rocking with me. Um, I really appreciate it. Stay focused. Stay humble. Stay positive. You know, continue to walk in confidence. Continue to love yourself. Continue to love others and treat others the way you would like to be treated. Um. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.